Hello everyone, welcome to Developers and Coders Club of Anati Agartala. Myself Vishal Singh and today we are going to discuss a problem named Dream Moon and Stairs. So first of all, let us understand the problem statements. The problem is saying that Dream Moon wants to climb up a stair of n steps. He can climb one or two steps at each move. Dream Moon wants the number of moves to be a multiple of an integer m. So what is the minimum number of moves making him climb to the top of the stair that satisfies his condition. So let me explain you. The question is saying that Dream Moon wants to climb up 10 stairs. Okay. And he has to make these steps a multiple of 2. So how can we achieve this thing? Okay. So now um, what we are going to do. First of all Dream Moon will take 4 steps of 2. 4 steps of 2 steps that means Dream Moon has reached the 8th step ok and now 2 steps he will take off 1 step because Dream Moon can move both 1 and 2 steps and now Dream Moon is going to take 2 steps of 1 step so now Dream Moon will reach 10th step finally so how many total number of steps Dream Moon has taken is 6 ok is 6 and this 6 is also and this 2 can also be a multiple of 6 so our answer is 6 let's move to the next example that is saying huh, n is 3 and m is 5 means he has to climb up uh, 3 steps and the number should be multiple of 5 this is not possible because when you are climbing 3 steps how can we how can you make a number divisible by 5 so you have to put minus one okay so our logic starts from here whenever 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 n whenever n is whenever n is less than m okay whenever n is less than m you have to simply put minus one simply print minus one and and uh, when n when n is greater than m then arises two conditions then arises two conditions those conditions are first of all you have to replace n with n plus 1 okay so the first condition is when m is greater than half of n by 2 means uh, let us take as example uh, 10 and 6 okay 10 and 6 you can see that 10 uh, means n n plus 1 11 by 11 by 2 11 by 2 that is 5 5 is greater than sorry 5 is less than 6 so whenever this type of condition arises whenever this type of condition arises you don't have to think any logic you have to simply see out m you have to sim simply see out m in this condition okay and when this type of condition arises okay when this type of condition arises for example 29 and 7 29 and 7 in this case our n by 2 will be uh, let me raise this thing our 29 by 2 will be 30 and n plus 1 that is 30 by 2 that is 15 okay so what you have to do you can easily see that your m is less than 15 you can easily see that your m is less than 15 so what you have to do you have to simply create a while loop here okay and in this while loop um, first of all initialize b with 0 a random variable b with 0 and let me raise this bracket okay so what you have to do in this while loop you have to check this condition you have to check this condition and if this condition uh, follows then what you have to do you have to increase b with m times of i and what is your i your i is initialized from 1 your i is initialized from 1 and each time this condition follows you have to increase your i by 1 i plus plus okay and ultimately you have to see out b let me explain you with a 
with this example so in this question uh, when b moves here then b is 0 and n by 2 is 15 so what will happen b will become 7 into 1 that is 7 okay and i plus plus here b comes b becomes 7 and n by 2 means 15 again this condition will follow so this time b will become 7 into 2 7 into 2 and now b will become 14 and b will move here 14 14 is less than 15 again this while loop will run now b will become m into 3 means 7 into 3 okay that is 21 now I, for this condition while loop will not run because 21 is not less than 15 okay so for this condition while loop will not run and will simply see out b so this was our complete logic so let us move to the final portion that is code so what we are doing in this question we are simply taking input n and m and uh, increasing n is equals to n plus 1 okay so our first condition if m is greater than n minus 1 we have to simply see out minus 1 this condition this condition if this condition arises we have to simply see out minus 1 okay else if m is greater than or equal to n by 2 this condition this condition if this condition arises you have to see out m okay and if this this type of condition arises then what you have to do you have to run a while loop and in that while loop you have to increase b every time by i and you have to see out b at the end of the loop okay so this was our code i hope i am very clear for the problem thank you